So many of you have asked, what's the best way to detail your Defender? Check this video out now. I'm here to valet the mascot vehicle ready for taking it to shows and presenting it to other people. So I understand that this isn't just going to be a normal car wash, otherwise we'd have got Louis or one of the lads here at Maker to do it. What are you going to be doing to the vehicle today? What are the step-by-step so step process? A safe wash, so that's going through full two, two bucket method with two mitts, um, separate wheel clean, and then protecting the vehicle to guard it from the elements. What, what, what are we starting off with? So we're starting off with a snow foam that'll break down the dirt, remove it from the vehicle before we start going in and making contact so we're not rubbing the dirt into the paintwork. Then we're going to use Frontline which is a pure shampoo which is going to remove the rest of the dirt that's on the vehicle. And then protection spray so that's the, our final step to make sure that it repels any further dirt and stays cleaner for longer. And somebody wanted to do, do this to their own vehicle, maybe for a weekend or something, you know, a bit of a hobby. What, what are some of your top tips? So, obviously use two, two buckets, a rinse bucket and a wash bucket. Keep the dirt separate. Use a separate wheel bucket because they're the dirtiest parts of the vehicle. So you don't want to put that dirt back onto the, onto the bodywork. Use a pre-wash to remove all that dirt before you start going in and making contact. So this is shock therapy. I'm gonna spray it on the arch. The arch and the tire, this is gonna break down all the dirt that's on the on the tire wall and in the arch. And we're gonna go in with a wheel cleaner for the faces of the wheels. Some of the things that you'll find useful for cleaning wheels is a big long brush to get all the way to the back of the barrels, a small wash mitt so you can get around the spokes and try and touch all parts of the wheel and then you want an intricate brush around like the wheels the wheel nuts and the valve as well okay. then you can use something that looks like a toilet brush for the arch to get right up in into all these bits where all the dirt sticks in So the first product we're going to put on is shock therapy which is a snow foam that's going to soften all the dirt that's on the vehicle so we can rinse it off we're not rubbing that into the paintwork as you can see it's sticking on the paintwork and that's going to be softening the dirt that's on there it's running down and pulling it off onto the floor and you'll see in a second it'll be all on the floor rather than stuck on the vehicle so we're not rubbing it into there. And then are you going to jet wash this off or do you, do you brush this off? Yeah, so we're going to jet wash this off before we make contact so we're not pushing that dirt into the paintwork and then go in with contact so then we can touch the vehicle. You should, you should see it down there. The dirt being pulled off in the foam. You can see it all on the side steps. And, Once we've put the shock therapy on and rinsed it off, now we're going to go in with the shampoo, which is frontline, to wash the vehicle. So we've got two buckets, and they've got also they've got a grit guard in the bottom, which separates any dirt that falls to the bottom. It's not being picked up by your wash mitt. 
We've also got two wash mitts, one for the higher sections and then one for the lower dirtier sections. So defenders being dead intricate with all the little holes, the little nooks and crannies, these mitts are great to get in all these little areas because they'll just feed in and it'll make sure that you get all the gaps clean. So once we've done the contact wash with the two mitts, we're just gonna give it a quick rinse off because the shampoo's starting to dry. Then I'm gonna go in with a spray bottle with some shampoo in and a soft brush for all the intricate areas where the mitts won't get into. Now we've rinsed off, we're gonna put our protection spray on, which is used protection. This is gonna repel any dirt, keep the car cleaner for longer. The secret to this is you can apply it either wet or dry. As it's starting to rain now and the vehicle's still wet, I'm just gonna put two sprays, three sprays on the panel and dry it with my drying towel. This is gonna add a layer of protection to repel dirt and water so it'll stay cleaner for longer. So the finishing touch is some tyre dressing. We're gonna work this into the sidewall of the tyre, make it look nice and dressed. So because these have got big knobbly tyres on, you're gonna need a small brush just to feed into the, the little nodules on the tyre to get them all dressed in. And that's it, that's how we prepare all the vehicles for day for handover. So this is something that can be definitely done at home. All you need is the right products, take your time, and it's really easy once you know how. So we'll show you the effects of the, the used protection product, which will repel the water. As you can see, the water beads up and runs straight off.